Hi there, Simon from SimonWise.com. Do I look at an angle today? I'm just having a look at my camera and it looks a bit tilted to one side, but uh, you'll never know because I can always correct that post-production, as they say. You don't want to know that. You want to know about what we're tasting today. We've got four semillons, Australian semillons, uh, and I think we actually have four different regions here. Uh, so it'll be fascinating to see how we uh, get on with them, four different vintages as well. We're starting with the youngest, which is, um, actually, no, it's not quite four different regions. It's three different regions, because uh, this one's, um, well, it's Tesco's own label. It's their Denman Hunter Valley Semillon 2012, and we've got another Hunter Valley one to finish with. So uh, anyway, but that's seven years older. We'll get to that later. Well, this is a classic example of why some people can easily mistake young Semillon, uh, particularly if it's been pe picked that little bit early, uh, for Sauvignon. I stick my nose in there and there's this green pepper. Uh, it's strange, there's a, there's a really sort of a quite lean, very, almost like, uh, yeah, pencil thin bit which is uh, has got this uh, citrus, uh, very uh, underripe green apples so on that, that Granny Smith's then. But then there's almost almost like a richer element underneath. Uh, but uh, as hopefully we'll see when we get to the one that's seven years older, that uh, richer side uh, comes more to the fore and the scrawnier side disappears into the background. Let's see what it's like at the moment though. Yeah, and it's got that lean greenness and um, some people will love that. Other people will be sort of going... Phew. I need my buttocks surgically unclenched. 10% um, alcohol. Um, so um, some would say, yeah, oh, that's underripe. And, uh, but I, I'm left with quite a rich feeling in my mouth. Um, there's this, uh, yes, there is this uh, green tang. So you think about things like the, the citrus. Also things like green gauge in there. Uh, and then there's this fatter, um, almost, well, I mean, it, it develops into this uh, like, like custard and lime uh, character. Uh, but at the moment, it, it, it's, a bit, it's a bit sort of like, I'll come back tomorrow. So um, if you're looking for a reasonably priced semillon to lay down, it's a reasonable example. But as hopefully we'll see later on, you don't necessarily need to do that. More of that with wine number four. First, I'll do wine number two, which is from the other side of Australia. So this is from, uh, this is Mosswood um, Semillon 2011 uh, from Margaret River. Uh, now, often in Margaret River, they, they'll blend, uh, they'll do what they call an SSB blend. So it's Semillon uh, with Sauvignon Blanc uh, in varying amounts, uh, much as they do in Bordeaux. But uh, again, they have this, uh, it's more of a green, crunchy flavour that you tend to get in Margaret River. Alcohol-wise, let's have a look at 13%. So we're going for 10% to 13%. Let's see whether, um, uh, to several thousand kilometres across uh, uh, the Nullarbor Desert and uh, extra degree of alcohol and one more year in bottle has done to the wine. And we're still on this green side. So more of the green gauge. It feels like there's maybe maybe some of the citrus shriek is is in a bit in the background. And I think because it's a richer, fuller bodied style, um, it's not it's never going to be quite as um, as inducing as um, as the hunter style is. Uh, it smells good, um, but does it smell does it smell better or just different? I'll taste it. And that's a much richer, fuller, almost waxy style. Very much more in the in the Bordeaux mould. Uh, although uh, there's quite a lot of white Bordeaux at the moment, where the Sauvignon Semillon blends uh, originated. Uh, it tends to be the Sauvignon that, that is uh, is dominating at the moment. I think that's more of a fashion thing uh, rather than a wine quality thing. Here, certainly a quality wine, um, uh, and quite different in style from the from the first one. Uh, it feels more than a year older. It feels like it's quite it's got quite a lot of development there. So it's getting more of this honeyed, rich, uh, slightly toasty character coming through. And I think the first one will develop that toastiness, but will need a lot more time. Interesting. Um, another state entirely for wine number three. So this is Tim Adams, uh, 2010 Semillon uh, from the Clare Valley in South Australia. Again, 13% and uh, the Clare style. Uh, yes, fermentation was carried out in new French oak hog hogsheads. So I don't, I don't think uh, the Mosswoods had uh, new oak on there. I wouldn't be surprised if it had a little bit of thyme in oak. Oops, got a dribble in there. Uh, had some thyme in oak to uh, uh, to round it out, but it, it, it uh, so th there wasn't a, a toasty influence or anything like that. Uh, it was more the élevage element, so the wine softened in a barrel rather than picked up oak flavours. And it's a uh, year older than the moss wood, but from the smell of it, it's, it, it almost smells younger. This may, it has more of that uh, perky green crispness that was uh, uh, that was in the, the the Tesco one. 
it's, I suppose if it sits halfway between the two in style, um, it's got an extra layer of richness, but it still feels it's, it, like it's got, um, it's got some of that greenness. I didn't pick up much of an of a, a oak character when, uh, when I smelt it, but then when you taste it, that's when that toasty richness kicks in. Um, and um, it's, it's funny, it's got this richness, uh, but this tang as well. And as I, as I said uh, when I smelt it, it does taste, um, taste younger than the one that's, uh, that's actually a year younger. Does that make sense? No, but the wine does. Pretty tasty wine. Favourite so far. Let's see whether it maintains um, its position as a wine, a semion number one, um, uh, in the face of an attack from wine number four, which is McWilliams Mount Pleasant Elizabeth Semion. So we're back in the Hunter Valley now. Um, slightly higher alcohol, but still not high. I mean, these these Hunter Semions, ten and a half, eleven. This one's up to twelve percent, so it's a it's a bit of a bruiser in Hunter Semion terms, but. Uh, uh, it's a it's a wine that uh, has a long track record, ages brilliantly. But this is the current vintage, so uh, if you want to have a, a chance to see what aged semillon can be like, then uh, this is the one to go for. It's got that juicy limey tang, a bit of the green gauge, and um, the uh, the Tim Adams one, the, the previous wine, had that toasty character. I tasted it more than smelt it. Here, there's a toastiness. But um, it's not been anywhere near an oak barrel. It's strange how these wines pick up that toasty character with uh, uh, with, with bottle age. Ah, oh, it's delicious. Um, it's got uh, it's it's rich. It's round. It's nicely mature, but it's still got this um, this this yeah this the spine of acidity, keeping it all fresh. So there's the citrus bit. There's a bit of the apple. There's the um, uh, a more exotic, the custody apple, uh, custody character. I was, that was a cross between custard and custard apple because it's got some of that, um, what the South Americans call chirimoya character. Uh, that like a cross between a melon and banana, if you can, if you can imagine that. Um, and uh, and then this toasty richness. Um, uh, but then when you think it might might be going just that little bit too rich, then the finish uh, comes back with freshness and. Um, keeps you coming back for more, ideally with some uh, rather tasty prawns. Um, I like all of these. I mean, the, the, the Tesco, the, the first one, I, 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 I think that's going to age reasonably well. I'm not sure whether it's ever going to be quite as smart as the Elizabeth is, but um, uh, but the others were were, were good, and uh, Semyon's a grape that uh, actually deserves a far wider uh, audience than it currently gets, and maybe as a result of this video, I'd like to think that it will receive that. See you soon.